Okay, wow. October 31st, Halloween, 2021, 10.04 a.m. Just gonna dump my brain out because I had one of the craziest experiences yesterday. I was doing this video for Tate McRae. We are doing a duet in the video. Um, new song. And I've been working all week. I was doing a Kelly Clarkson's Christmas special as a dancer. And then hopped right into this uh, Tate rehearsal the next day. Tate and I had met once before, um, like helping a friend, Teddy Florence, with one of his classes. And I remember thinking she was dope. And we were dancing to one of my songs, Visions. And Tate was like, yeah, I make music too. I've been writing music. I'm like, dope. And then next thing I know, years later, she's like massive in terms of just plays and level of artists. Like she's just really getting well known, and gaining a lot of popularity as an artist, doing really well. Anyway, um, three days of rehearsal, one day on set, and then yesterday we shot it all. I playing this character where we're going through a breakup and we've kind of already broken up and we work together and it's like the next day at work after the breakup and we're sort of like giving each other the silent treatment and then going <clears throat> through all those emotions of that breakup and just kind of communicating it through dance that moves throughout the space of this restaurant that we work at with nobody else in there. And it was epic. Turned out really epic. I'm so grateful for what we captured. I feel like I gave like a raw performance and connected and I feel like it worked really well. We were working in rehearsal on the emotion of it, but also just trying to get all the steps because there's a lot of choreo and partnering and stuff between me and Tate. And then in the space, it's like some of it's like working its way down this restaurant hallway and starting in this small kitchen and we're doing these things in the kitchen. It's all in steady cam for those parts. So it's like long, long shots of the steady cam following the movement and shit. And it's coming out like really Truthful, I guess. Oh, wow. <laughs> My rib is fucked. I've had this rib that's been like twisted and kind of bugging me for the last like week, I would say, two, maybe two weeks. And in Kelly Clarkson rehearsal, I was feeling it, but I was doing good. And then in this rehearsal, I started feeling it a lot, cause especially because lifting, there's this like lift where she's on my shoulders and I can just really feel it and I've been doing a great job of like massaging it out every morning and then getting it back in the place where I'm like okay I can do this I can do this and then on set we're doing the second like main dance piece and I just feel it go like really out and I was like oh shit and then we go to do another take and I sort of faltered trying to get her up and I was like oh fuck <laughs> my body was just like oh, nope and so I was vocal about it, and I sort of had that moment where I'm like, okay, we're in it. We're in this thing. It's her and I, obviously. And I'm doing good, but I feel a little bit out of it. Even with my character, I had a moment where the first take, like the first section, I felt so strong. And the second one, I was like, what am I? I felt a little bit out of my gut. Like, I just didn't know to, what I was bringing. And I tried a few different things, but I'm like, is it truthful, blah, 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 and that it was, that was kind of a hard feeling to have, because it's like, it's like you almost want to panic and go into the mode of like, okay, I gave it, but now am I not giving it anymore, and those thoughts can really, really spiral. 
especially if I don't feel in myself that I'm like really in my depth. But then I just thought about acting class. And I was like, okay, well, let me work from this feeling that I'm having right now. And I tried a couple things, and they actually asked me for some adjustments. And I was like, okay, okay. And then the last take, I felt like we found a good, like, happy medium. And I just tried not to judge wherever I was coming from, really, if I, even if I felt like it wasn't pure. I was like, okay. And people were really stoked on it. Like, even the label woman was like, that take was incredible, you know? So, I was like, dope. And then my rib, I was just like doing it over and over and still being vocal every so often about like, hey, I'm really feeling this thing. But we got that one. And then I got to take a breather. <laughs> that was like the halfway point in the day. Eat sweet green. Think about what what's that, what's happening. Enjoy a moment with other people listening. Just coming back down to earth a little bit. As me, you know. So now my rib feels like it's out. It's really screaming at me like it's loud, like in a lot of pain. And anything hunched is, like, really painful. Bringing breath in in a certain way is painful. Certain twists feel really painful. And basically what we have left to do is, like, the largest section of the video that goes throughout all of the main space of the restaurant with us dancing and really feeling this heightened emotion through this breakup with partnering and everything. So I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then I'm having this moment of, like, I'm clearly in a lot of pain I'm asking like Miss Michelle, the choreographer, to like massage massage me out, and she's being so sweet about it, and really like getting into some like my lower spine area, and I feel like it's helping, but I'm like seems pretty clear as we go on that like this isn't gonna come back, like this rib thing isn't gonna like I'm not gonna get it back to the point where I feel like neutral or like close to that. So then I felt like almost easily was like, okay, I accept that. Like, for whatever reason, that is the case in this moment. And that was, that lifted like a big weight off me because I could be in pain. But I'm also like, okay, I'm coming from that place in whatever we're doing next. It was really liberating, actually, because it's like I wasn't fighting against it, I guess. Even though I'm feeling a lot of pain and it could be like a disaster, I didn't feel that way. I was like, if anything, it's going to make me stand more upright. It's going to make me make a couple different choices, and maybe those choices are good. Maybe those choices are what the video needs, you know? I had this, like, one part where I'm supposed to, like, express all this emotion, and I was going to do this, like, floor work, b-boy, like, really quick whip and stand up, and then I just tried something else where it was, like, this crump thing where I just, like, let go of my body, like, ah, and, like, gave out a scream because that was, like, felt more natural with, like, the pain that I was in. And, um, I was like, well, maybe that's like a really important choice that I made that choice for that part. So I take three Advil, <laughs> eat, we come back and this was the section that was like, okay, so many things had to go right to nail it because from the very first moment, it's just has to be so in tune, steady cam with us, every single movement traveling through the space and it's such a long section I mean over a minute maybe a minute and a half of us working through the space there's going you know from the pictures she pins me down kisses me go to the bar we do another section move her around the camera turns with us pulling her hair they get this hair moment come back around I'm pushing her to the ground the camera has to do this perfect tilt as her face is going into the ground and she's got to be singing in a certain way that it all reads whip her up we go back through this like hallway in the side of the restaurant and um we are like panicking they're gonna do this thing that like we break these plates but we're not even starting that yet because we want to like have a full understanding because we only have like six of these plates and then we come around she does this little lift moment and then i go and i do my section 
and then we go into this whole last partnering section and I'm like supposed to talk to her throughout that like I ended up saying like stay with me stay with me stay with me because you can't actually hear what I'm saying in the video but it's like the desperation and the character I think that's what like Michelle and Noel Marsh like really wanted to come across so that it didn't feel like it was just dancing dancing like recital at the end of the video sort of thing and I, I feel that but it was like a lot of also like new input new input like right as we were like going into the hardest section and I was like in pain so it was like I saw myself like get a little like snappy like almost like I don't know just frustrated um but I was committed and I felt like my gut vibe was like I can do it and also it's going to be a push and I was having those thoughts as I'm like learning these new things like let me just do this <laughs> but it's all like raining down you're like oh shit <laughs> and then once we started getting them it took I would say probably five takes and Tate's back started to hurt too so we're like we feel like we're on a bit of a timer almost and we're on an actual timer like from the video we need to get it soon <laughs> So, so let's say we did five takes of like us still working out all the kinks with all the moving elements. And then we just started shooting it. And I think we did like 13 takes total. And it was grueling, but also sick. Like, because I went into that headspace, I kind of forgot about the rib thing nearly. I pretty much completely. I don't think I was, I was even feeling it at all. I'm feeling it now, <laughs> but in the moment, I was literally just like going moment to moment. I'm like in my prior moment, holding onto the steady cam. When he moves, I move. I literally have like a foot to slide in in between for the first moment. Everything was so like particular and exact that it almost like put me into more of a headspace of like moment to moment because it's like every moment was so crystal clear in positioning and emotion and everything. Honestly, you know what it reminded me of is when I did that movie with Margot Robbie, the Harlequin one, and we had a dance number with her, and I saw her rehearsing to a T, like, what she was going to do with her mouth and her face at this exact moment in the music, and how she was going to turn and go into the next thing. Like, I saw her seeing every little transition moment, exactly what she was going to do, and doing that, like, with herself. Like, no one was even telling her that. She was literally, like, in between times like going over that and I would look at her and be like holy shit like this girl is a badass she's working hard as fuck like she is a badass and I felt like I went into my like Mason version of whatever that was of like okay this moment I'm like peeled away from her then I'm looking I'm giving her a little push like everything all of a sudden just felt really intentional and once I got into that space I think we were just cruising and I actually started to have a little bit of fun and like enjoy like giving a performance and the response was incredible. Like, people, I think, were blown away. People on set were, like, the response that I was getting was, like, it was, like, the AD afterwards was, like, that was some of the most powerful shit that I've seen, like, in a long time. And Noel and Michelle were just, like, elated. Like, after we did this take and nailed it for, like, the first time that we really nailed it with all the pieces, which is probably one we're going to end up with, um people were just like cheering just so stoked like felt like we were all coming together all these parts and the plate breaks and the whole thing you know it's like one little thing we kept like going and going we, we thought we kind of got the sick one and then we kept going because I think there was they just wanted to get something a little better and Tate and I are starting to go okay shit 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 and then we keep going and keep going we probably did like five or six more and then the last one, we're on the last plate and shit. We're like, okay, this is it. <laughs> and then Tate and I, like, slipped on this one part. And it was kind of more raw. It was like we had to miss a section and then come back. It was good. But um, it, the the ending of that feeling, I was so heightened when we got the sick one. I was literally, like, cheering. I was like, ooh, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Like, just hype. Because everyone else was hype. And I, was, I, could, I could tell, like, it was reading and the whole thing was just working. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then the, it, was, it was funny because as we kept going, it was like, 
we didn't end on that note. We ended on like Tate and I slipping, us being like exhausted, but not even that, just like not getting the sickest one at the end. And so it was sort of like this, you know, that was funny because you kind of expect like, I don't know, things are going a certain way and then they're not like on set. It's just so trippy, man. So trippy, so much to it. And in my headspace, that's, I'm still learning it, but even yesterday, it's like the headspace that I'm in to be able to keep giving, I guess really that, like keep giving, you know, and keep listening and keep present. It's trippy. It's a really trippy headspace to be in, especially when you're distracted or when you can get easily distracted by just someone's vibe. Like, someone being upset, that's, that could be a huge thing. Like, that was happening yesterday. Like, some, you're, like, in your moment trying to get into your zone of the character, and some crew guy walks by, and he's pissed that he can't, like, do a certain thing, and you're like, well, you know? <laughs> okay, that's there. Like, it almost made me want to snap and be like, hey, we're working here. You know what I mean? And maybe I could do that in a non-judgmental way, but yesterday I felt like more, I was more in the space of, like, let me just continue to just go into my zone. And I showed up, like, in that headspace. Like, I showed up and was, like, head down, sometimes headphones in, just going into my emotion. Like, going into the depth and continuing to invent a lot of moments. That was kind of the last, like, layer was, like... just inventing our relationship, the actual memories of it, and going into more and more detail. And it felt kind of last minute, because I'm literally on, <laughs> I'm there. And, but I had some time in the morning, so I'm going, like, through all the memories of our relationship, and the good moments, and those painful moments, and the breakup, exactly how it happened, and how, you know, I dropped her off, and what happened that morning, and how, how she was with me during the day, and how frustrating that was, and understanding that within the path of the peace put me more into my understanding obviously and noelle afterwards was just saying you could really see that like she said when i was on camera you could just see that all those moments just had depth and like stories behind them so i was like yeah fuck yeah that that really read it really did and i had a different feeling by the time we came to that last section once we started getting in the groove of it and i could let go of like my worries and fears i i was in a good headspace for it i was like we're killing it um i don't feel like i have anything holding me back even with the like physical thing i i didn't even feel it anymore i was like all right i got 11 of these if we need to do 11 <laughs> did 13 and hopefully got a sick one Then we have one more moment. We're all trying to rush. Then they're trying to wrap the whole place out because we're running late. One more moment outside. We're trying to get this intro moment to the whole thing outside. And that was an interesting challenge too, because it's like you're almost. I'm almost like we did it. I was in the headspace of like we're basically done and we did it. But it's like, oh, okay. Let me just continue to play this character. And what is this moment? And we were starving, too. And they had this meal there, and people were eating hamburgers, and we were still trying to shoot, and we were like, I was just so fucking hungry. I'm like, oh, my God. Um, one more kind of important moment going back that I wanted to talk about was, like, I could tell that I was in a really good space on that long section when the director came up after we'd been nailing it and he was like literally didn't know about that movement that I was doing for them for my freestyle part where I'm like pouring out my heart and like ah you know and I to me internally my internal voice is going okay that's literally the part where I'm bearing my soul the most and feel like I've invented something that's the most like raw thing I can think of and then it was like, well, if I have the ability to, like, 
completely let that go and be like, okay, I'll do something different, like try something else, then basically I'm making myself into like the most like smooth like tool almost, I, I guess is how I would say it as a performer, like if I'm willing to let go of the thing that I think is like the most important thing or the most like the part where I dug the deepest to like invent something that I thought was pure for that moment, the part I'm the most proud of almost. And if I'm willing to let it go and at the request of the director and he wasn't being judgmental, but you know, you can, I, at first you're like, well, fuck, like, cause that's, it's so like, raw when you're getting like in in there you know so that was a, that was a cool moment it was humbling but it was also like cool and I tried something else and I probably worked great you know yeah that was interesting too So then we are working on that last shot for a while. People are trying to get us to move out. Woman's all stressed out. I'm starving. Eventually we have to just actually stop. And then all the energy starts going, okay. We're shaking hands outside. It's so funny how it all just goes like this because you're creating all day, all day, all day. You're having these heightened moments. And it's just people start pulling everything apart. I'm eating cold fries by the handful. <laughs> no meat burgers because the other ones had cheese. I'm just <laughs> hugging people, talking about it. And I kind of stuck around for a bit. There was a moment in the bathroom where I was like, I was just literally sitting on the toilet, like just to sit and hearing all this rap out happen around me. It was actually so beautiful. I wish I stayed even longer in that space afterwards. It was like the almost like ASMR feeling of like all of these people doing different jobs around you, but it was darker and it was quieter. It was just everyone like shuffling things around and all these voices saying different things. And you would catch like little snippets of like, anybody have a trash bag? All right, we're moving this. All right. Blah, blah, blah. And like all these different departments, but it was like one like long stream and you're only catching like little moments. It was such a beautiful feeling because it was like, I'm like finally letting go. I've done my work in that day, in that moment, on this heightened thing. Left it on the floor and now the moment's disappearing and I'm watching it disappear. And those people, you know, and I have no longer have, no one's looking for me. You know, I was just sitting in that bathroom listening to that. I was like, holy shit. You're just feeling that. Your body's exhausted. You're thrashed. I'm just going, wow. It was such a sick moment. kind of wish I stayed in that moment forever, like as long as I could, 
my I'd left my phone out by my car in my bag, but it was outside because I didn't have my key. It was back at the other place. So I had a little bit of something like, okay, my phone's in the side of my head, like it's just sitting outside basically. But I feel like I rushed out of that moment. I wanted to stay there for even longer. Once I got in the car and was back in the real world, I almost felt fucked because it was like just too chaotic. I almost wanted to stay in that Zen moment of like the, the wrap out and really in the in, the feeling and the intention of like everything that we made there and just really feel that and watch it like dwindle, you know, because I know I'd, we'd done it. We did it, you know. It's just something amazing about that. So next time, I'll probably sit and watch the whole wrap out and just enjoy it. Got to work on this rib. And just get some body work done. Excited about that. Um, what else? Maybe go up north, see Hannon, or maybe somebody down here. I got I got time off now. I don't know what's coming up next, so. I mean, just breathe, <laughs> eat some food, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, <laughs> good shit, so proud, so proud. <laughs>